So today we're going to be making Kyle Katarn's lightsaber. So I started with an old wrapping paper roll, and then I cut it down to size. Mine was about nine and a half inches, but I think that's actually a bit too long. Then I just took an old juice bottle cap, and I covered the top and sides of that with silver foil. Silver adhesive foil, but you can also use tin foil. And then I just put a little bit of glue on the end of that wrapping paper roll, and stuck that right under the inside of that cap. Took a strip of craft foam and covered that in some silver foil. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that the craft foam is bent when you're putting the foil around so the foil doesn't get weird little bends in it. And then just cut it down to size with a pair of scissors. Then I just glued that right above where I glued the bottle cap on so that it's different widths. Then cut a bunch of little rectangles of five millimeter craft foam and covered them all in silver except the bottom. And then the bottoms just got glued on to that craft foam strip that I just put on all the way around, just like that. Then I took another strip of silver covered craft foam and put that, it's not quite in the middle, it's up a little bit toward the end. Then I cut two thin strips of black craft foam and I put one on each edge of that silver colored strip, just like that. And then I cut a bunch more of those little thin strips and I put them around the top and bottom sections of the cardboard tube. Then I took just a plain piece of craft foam, a little bit of glue on the edges, and popped that in the open edge of the tube. Then a slightly curved piece of cardstock, I covered that in silver. And I wrapped it around so the edge of it is on one of those black strips and the other edge is just glued to the cardboard, so that gives it a diagonal. And I did the same thing on the other side of that silver strip, so I got two diagonal pieces there. Then I took a piece of silver colored, silver covered craft foam and just glued that on and that covers up half of the open part of cardboard. It just starts touching those diagonal pieces that I just glued on. And then I cut another one. It's basically a rectangle with some gouges out of it. And the longer pieces should fit all the way around. And the parts with the gouges should again go only halfway, matching the piece on the lower half of the lightsaber. So cover that in silver and glue it on. It's easier if you measure it before covering it in silver. So this is what I have so far. And then I just put some silver on one side of a piece of cardstock and laid it silver side down. Put a little bit of glue on the end of the lightsaber and stuck that on the back side of the cardboard. Cut it off with a pair of scissors to give it a nice silver end. Then I had a ribbon spool which I covered in craft foam and some silver foil. You can use anything circular that you might have. And I just glued that onto the end, the plain end of the lightsaber. Then I took another bottle cap and glued some five millimeter craft foam in the center to fill it. And then I covered the sides and the top with some more of that silver foil so that the whole bottle cap was covered in silver. Put a little bit of glue on that smaller circle that I just glued on. And I glued that on the flat side of the bottle cap. And then I took some more of that ribbon spool and a piece of craft foam circle that would go around it. I covered the spool in silver and the craft foam circle in silver and then glued the circle onto the spool and glued that onto the end of some more silver cut it down to size so it's silvered on both sides I'll paint the white part later so just glue that onto the end building the lightsaber here then I took some small pieces of copperish wire and just glued those around that end part, evenly spacing them all the way around. And then had a little, I'm not sure what this was actually, it was like a bottle cap or a piece of furniture or something, some piece of junk that I'd saved, but glued that on the end and then took another bottle cap, covered it in silver, 
and glued that onto the end of that other piece, flat side down, and then took another piece of cardboard tube, covered that in silver, and that fit right in the end of the lightsaber there, and glued it in. And then another piece of that spool, covered that in craft foam, glued that onto the end, and covered it in silver, and then covered a cardstock circle in silver, and glued that right onto the end. Then I painted that weird black piece and any of the white sides that were showing through, painted those with metallic silver paint, and then down on the grips part where I've got all those thin pieces of black craft foam, I painted black in between them. And I didn't glue paint them first, I just did straight paint on this, so uh, the paint was metallic, so it didn't really look too flat. And so then this is what I've got so far with the base. And so then to finish it off, just took a couple of red beads and glued those right on the back side. And then I have the whole Kaya lightsaber. So and there is the full lightsaber. Have you ever wondered how deadly Kyle really is? How deadly is Kyle Katarn? He once threw a lightsaber and cut three guys in half. Then he ignited it. <laughs>